On today's episode, we use the quad bike to pull the crush in, I trim out a really bad white line problem, and someone's making the tea, and it's not me. Good morning and welcome to the Craigie Boy YouTube channel. Today we're at Mark's farm, you guys all remember Mark, and today we're pulling the crush with the quad bike. Yeah, I know, we've done this before with the Appleton, but this is the KVK, so it's worth another watch. <laughs> well done, stop me there, Yorkie. <laughs> so we've got Graham's other brother-in-law with us button today. This is Derek. Say hi, Derek. Hi, Derek. <laughs> so I've got some help today. Last day I was all by myself. But, so happy that I've got someone with me today to hopefully get through the cows that little bit quicker. Let's get the crush in and get started. Now get crushed set up. So Derek, aka Yorkie, has never done this kind of job before. He's helped Graham once in one of his videos, but he's never actually been here for a full week, helping set up the crush, get the cows in, and basically do all the in-between jobs that don't involve trimming. But I've got to say, Graham really does have good brother-in-laws. They're all hard workers, very keen to get stuck in, and they're very quick learners. Wait, I'm Graham's brother-in-law. That means I'm all of them things too. Hey! No, but seriously, it's awesome to have a couple of good workers that help you out in a pinch when you really need them. I don't honestly believe I could do this job on my own. It always gets me how Graham did this for years by himself. I couldn't do it. Apart from the other day there when I worked by myself. But never again. Seriously. But as you can see, we set up this crush and get it into place. No problem at all. Apart from one minor incident. So that's us with the first cow in the crush. Let's get her trimmed. So this first hoof that I'm trimming is pretty standard, there's no real big issues. It's not a pretty hoof, but it's my job to make sure that it's functioning the way it should be. Leveled off, modelled out, and shot into the toes. Other than this little bruise, of course, which, if left unattended, would have turned into a sole ulcer. But it's not this foot that's the problem. The next foot, as you'll see, 
definitely has an issue. So we move on to this next foot and already before I even start you can see that there's a white line problem right on the side of the wall horn, just in where we would call zone 2 on our tablet. So my first job is to clean off the good hoof, being the medial claw, before I start attacking the problem on the lateral claw, being the white line. So she's got a white line problem on this claw, so I'm going to quickly get a block on just now and then deal with the problem. So this white line issue turns out to be more problematic than I thought it was. I didn't realize it was going to be as bad as this. This is why I was saying it'll be a bit longer with me because Graham's uh, he's a bit more hands on with the knife like. So as you can see from this angle, it runs right up to the hairline up the side of the wall horn. So I need to try and clear off any loose horn that I can so that when this hoof starts to grow back, it grows back properly. And when you're doing something like this, you have to try and be as delicate as possible once you get close to the corium, trying not to go too far, but still making the trim as clean as possible. So to finish up, I just give it a little spray just to make sure that I've got all the loose horn that I can get, then spray it off again with some iodine. And hopefully next time I see this cow, Graham will lift it up and he'll be like, Craig, you've done an awesome job. And I'll be like, thank you, Graham. She's on the straw so you can't really tell how well she's walking, but I'd say she's a lot better. It's just a shame I never got her walking up to the crush and then we would have saw the difference, but still I'm very proud of that trim. Let's get the rest done. So we got this bull in the crush and to be honest I didn't think I could even find what was wrong with it. Mark said that he's been lame on his back right so when he said that I had a good look and to be honest it wasn't that long before I noticed what the problem was. 
So as you can see, he has a massive white line running up the side of his hoof horn, just the same, well, similar to the cow that I trimmed just before. So I get Derek to put a block on, finish trimming him off, put on some iodine, then wrap his hoof horn up with a nice salicylic bandage, and then set him on his way. So time to get a cup of tea, and for once, it's not me doing it. Thanks, Yorkie. No problem. <laughs> um. well, yeah. Perfect cup of tea. That's the last cow slash bull of the day. Time to get cleaned up and head on home. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. All that I know is we'll get older, older. And now that that's all done, there's only one last thing to say. This has been Yorkie. And this has been Craigie Boy. Catch us next time, guys. <laughs>